Hello brothers and sisters, so today's video is going to be titled The Devil is a Liar So I just want to begin, begin with praying um, So Father I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the mighty name of the Lord I lift you up Jesus, thank you for everything Thank you Lord for touching our hearts and changing us and renewing our minds daily Thank you Lord uh, I just pray for a new refreshing in you of more discernment, Lord, more understanding and wisdom, Lord. I just, I lift up everyone watching right now in the mighty name of Jesus so that there's some doors of utterance and people are, um, seeds are planted in people, more understanding is given to people and this really touches those hearts that you guide to this video, Jesus. Um, thank you. And I also uh, break anything of the enemy, any strongholds, anything, any dark principalities over anyone who's watching this video. I break those chains now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, guys, so today I want to discuss condemnation and the enemy. I am a little bit tired and I'm not, I've had enough of it and I'm going to just speak out about it. The enemy is a liar and you guys, you know, you know it. You're all, those of you that are born again, you know that you are faced with a heap load of condemnation daily. Okay, the, the devil <coughs> is a, a, is the accuser of the brethren day and night, you know. In my past, when I was involved in all sorts of darkness, I never had um, so much condemnation. I suffered with it a bit, but not about just the amount of condemnation that covers us as Christians. We, we need to just be like, nah, enough is enough, and not listen to the enemy anymore. Okay, there's difference between conviction and condemnation, yes. You know, when the Holy Spirit convicts us about something we've done wrong, oh man, that is amazing. That is amazing. That is um, evidence of the Holy Spirit working in us. And when we're um, convicted by the Lord, you know, he chastens the ones he loves, right? So when we do something wrong, absolutely listen to that, you know, and just get on your knees and just cry out to the Lord and just, you know, I'm sorry, Lord, please, please forgive me. And... And just, you know, register that you've done something wrong, give it to the Lord, and then get back up and keep walking, soldier. Because this condemnation that comes over afterwards is not of God, you know? If you did something wrong to your parent, for example, and then you go to them and you say, look, I'm so sorry that I did that. You think your parent's going to continue to go, yeah, but, mm-hmm, yeah, but, mm-hmm, you've done this, but you've done this, but you've done this, and keep on going? No, they're going to say, okay. Okay, daughter. Okay, son. Let's move on. You know? And that's, that's what the Lord does with us. He forgives, but we must have a repentant heart, of course. But the condemnation that comes afterwards, or the condemnation that just comes out of nowhere, that is not of the Lord. That is the enemy. And I rebuke that now in Jesus' name. That is not something to be um, consumed by or to even acknowledge it. And it will come your way. If you're a saint, it will come your way. And I just wanted to let you know today that whenever the enemy co fills you with condemnation and is trying to attack you, celebrate. Celebrate! Because why else would he be coming up against you if he wasn't angry with you because you're walking in the kingdom? You are there planting seeds, you're doing something for the kingdom of God and therefore he is coming up against you and he's trying to fill you with this condemnation and register that. Register that everything he does is the opposite, you know? He is, he is just lies. And so if he's coming up against you, realize it's because you're doing something right. And worship Jesus. Keep your focus on the Lord. You know, every time the enemy is going to say to you, oh, this and this and this, and trying to consume you with heaviness and darkness, say, you know what? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for washing me clean. Thank you for your forgiveness, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Put on praise music. Focus yourself on the light. Don't let the enemy be pulling you into his traps over and over again. Rebuke that in Jesus' name and carry on walking, soldier, and pray on the full armour of God every day. I love you guys so much. 
and I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless you.